Hey guys and gals out there, this is Rock and Rafi, and finally, I'm back. It has been quite a while. Miss me? Because I miss all you fans out there. I miss sharing cooking with the entire world. And this time around, we're going to be stepping up our game. And if you're here for the first time, welcome to the show. And if you like what you see, don't forget to click that subscribe button right down below. Today's episode, we're calling out all metalheads, headbangers, rock and rollers, Iron Maiden fans, beer drinkers, beer lovers, and lovers of carbs and lovers of bread. Today we're going to have ourselves a little beer bash. We're going to be making something amazing with this beer imported from England, made by a band that you probably know of called Iron Maiden. This beer they've created is called the Trooper. I said to myself, hmm, what a perfect match, Maiden Heaven, Iron Maiden that is. What can we make today that will rock everyone's world? We are going to make the most amazing, iconic recipe yet. We are going to make what I call a heavy metal beer bread, and I'll trade to that. So searching for this recipe online, I found that people were using self-rising flour. What? Self-rising flour? Are you kidding me right now? Basically, they're just too lazy to add baking powder. So enough of this chit chat. If you're ready, I'm ready. It's time to bring on the heavy metal show. In a large bowl, sift three cups of organic all-purpose white flour and one tablespoon of baking powder using a sifter or a strainer. I prefer a strainer because sifters are just too bulky and make a mess. Now let's add one teaspoon of salt and a quarter cup of sugar. Mix all dry ingredients with a wire whisk. So we're going to add 12 ounces of this awesome Iron Maiden beer. So using a measuring cup, let's go ahead and measure 12 ounces, which is basically a cup and a half. And don't worry if you've got your 12 ounces and you've got leftover beer like we do right now. There's a plan for this. Cheers. Yeah, what a trooper. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the 12 ounces of beer to the flour mixture. And mix it all well together, folding using a rubber spatula. Place it in a well-greased loaf pan and pour half a cup of melted butter on top. This makes it so that you get a hearty bread with a crunchy buttery crust on top. If you prefer a softer crust, then just mix the butter inside the bread mixture instead. Place your loaf in a preheated oven of 375 degrees and bake for one hour. smell of beer bread, let me tell you, it's not like any bread that you've made before or even had because the smell of this one, it's just out of this world. I can't wait for this bad boy right here. Uh, let it cool down just 20 minutes and we're ready to cut. See you in a bit. And here it is, the beer bread or shall we call it the heavy metal beer bread. Thanks to the butter on top, this gave it a very cool rustic look. All right, so what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in.
and therefore we sliced it and it looks really perfect on the inside. So let's try this on. I'm just going to take a little piece off of the, the side here. I was really surprised, not just from the flavor of this beer that the Iron Maiden Trooper added, but the crunchy top that you just heard as well. It's amazingly addicting. The, the buttery crust on the top makes this so much beer better. So the flavor that I'm getting out of this, I, can, I taste a little hint of the flavoring of the beer. And let me tell you, parents, for your children under the age of 21, don't worry about it because the beer, since we baked it in the oven, burns off all the alcohol, so there's no need to worry. This beer bread doesn't require an ID. You know, I never had beer bread before, but guess what? It's on my number one list. I'm gonna have it again and again and again. Hmm. You know what else would go really good with this? To spread some butter on it and eat it? But we're gonna kick it up a notch. Bacon lovers, we're gonna top this off with some homemade bacon jam that I just made. Once you make this beer bread, you'll never make any other bread again. I encourage you guys to try this recipe out. It's very simple, just six ingredients. That's all there is to it. And to be honest, if you had this bread on a dinner table with filet mignon next to it, I promise you this bread will disappear before anyone even touches the filet mignon. That just wraps up today's episode. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite beer and why. Also, share this video with your friends and family and that bell. Don't forget to click on that bell so that you are notified when my next videos upload. And speaking of next videos, want to see this homemade bacon jam? Well, subscribe today. And until next time, keep on rocking!